Suarez, who was put into the loser's bracket by Amario. But I think, of course, classic Yoshi Snake to start us off. I think these are two players that I don't think anyone expected to be in loses this early on. So I was actually ranked second at this event, being sent into loses by Sauce, actually, earlier on today. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, which player of these is actually leaving us early tonight. But right now, already off the bat, 35% quickly on, on to Suarez from Pelka here. Pelka doing a really good job of just keeping his distance a little bit and just punishing with these projectiles right now. Yeah, this is the kind of matchup where you're going to expect to see a bit more of the passive play out of Snake just because Yoshi has a few tools to really get through the bombardment of projectiles they can lay out. From the grenades and C4 to the Smash Mortar, it's a matter of how well can Suarez like avoid contact with the grenades, and then how much can that pressure be staved off by eggs? Back up coming out from Suarez, trying to go for that forward air spike, but to no avail. Getting that up tilt into the up air. It's such, so, so easy and so good from coming out from Yoshi. Just so much damage being dealt. And right now, both are coming out, and here comes Nikita just playing with the egg right there. That's a really curious interaction. I don't think I've actually seen between these two. Might paint a picture further into this set because Nikita has been a good way for Pelka to like, keep very safe edge guards. He's deep on stage, he has good control of the missile, and once Suarez commits to his double jump, it's, a, it's much easier to cover that space with Nikita. The grenade sending Suarez high right there, coming down fast into that ledge. Wow, the grenade is saving him from that back air right there. Didn't get enough of it. Right now, Suarez just waiting for something here, waiting yep. for that, and then, there's that back air taking that first stock of the game. Both players waiting just to get their kill condition, and it's going to be the back air. You're going to see a lot of that from Suarez. It's his safest disjointed move. It's fairly quick, and it's devastating on contact. Down there coming out. Lots of damage right into the up air. Suarez right now pressuring Pelka on that stage, but Pelka coming down with that dash check, sending Suarez off stage. What's he going to do? Look for that up tilt, actually. Doesn't get it. And there's that. There it's at go. that point where that's happening. That down throw into the up tilt. So, so good, so powerful. And Pelka's been using it a lot this weekend, too. It's probably his favorite kill move. I mean, with good reason. Yeah, it covers very a good reason. safe amount of space. Um, every why? Every time why I see an RPG that? come out, dude, it scares the living life out of me. <laughs> Like, and it's good on Pelka, too, because he recognizes when Suarez wants to get aggressive coming out of shield with some sort of an option. So, like, it's free damage, but that could be devastating for Suarez. We end up seeing that at higher percentages. Nonetheless, Pelka doing a really good job of at least making sure that if Suarez is going to keep on breaking zone, he's paying the price with percentage. Suarez far off stage right now. He kept his jump. Now has to come back with the air dodge. Suarez, oh, Pelka not really able to punish it right there. Going with the back throw, setting wall stage into the Nikita. Ooh, all right. Yoshi Bomb for the quick mix up. I like it, I like it. Although I feel like. Oh, attack him. Yeah. Spooked. Got him. Good. Suarez on his last stock. Although, 141 is still a decent amount percentage and it's going to count quickly on Snake. Suarez needs to make sure that he doesn't take too much damage while he's trying to break up this stock deficit. Because any bit of momentum into this set falling one way or the oh, other. Went too low. Heartbreaking. Right now, it's basically back to even right now currently. And Suarez doing the same thing he started with, just trying to wait for something, little, being a little patient here, but can start playing that aggressive game if need be at this point. Waiting on that platform, back here coming out. I love how Pelican has been trying to focus a lot of his play from going out from center stage. Like, it's working really well because Suarez, he's got plenty of landing options with Pokemon CD too. But Suarez, yeah, like, he needs to commit once he breaks into that center stage, once he tries to break zone onto Snake. And with all of that space that Pelk has built ahead of him, he's controlling it really well. And the dash attack that he's using to try and put a bit more pressure on Suarez just helps keep that damage running. Oh, I'm trying to go that up to what? I think that was the start of up tilt. I thought it was also, but that like he, <laughs> he looked like he was in the plant animation for a second for planting the C4. I don't know what that was. That came out so quick. This is the stance. <laughs> And he got him good. He got him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> that just looks so weird. But either way, though, Pelka taking the game one over Suarez. And that's just going to, you can, you got to think that's got to do some confidence for you right there, too. Especially what you were talking about where in their life, in their span of competing each other against each other in this game, uh, Suarez has the definite advantage over Pelka. So right now, you got to think with both of these losers, 
taking that game one, Palka must feel really good about himself right now. Indeed. It's worth noting that the sets do get themselves fairly close, and Palka has been bringing it closer and closer and closer every set. So much so that I was talking with Suarez about this uh, earlier before the bracket started today, and he was a bit shook on the prospect of playing Palka. Mind you, that was under the presumption of them fighting in winner's bracket, where Suarez should still have a little bit of room to breathe for something to happen. But this is losers. This is tournament life on the line for both of these players. Nonetheless, we get the run back to Stadium to see how it works out for Suarez. Suarez always confident playing against anyone on this stage. But Pelka has been playing to the stage's advantages really well in his own right. So I'm curious to see what Suarez does to maybe disrupt a bit of that momentum or stop how Pelka has been playing well because so far Pelka's game plan has been executed perfectly. Right now, Suarez just looking for something. Look at that grab actually right there. Not able to get anything. Two grenades going off back to back. This here comes that Nikita trying to pressure him off stage. Gets it. Dash that getting shielded. And I feel like this has always been the problem with Suarez fighting against the, the the high to top level snakes. He can break the zone really well, and he mixes up how he does so. And he can hold a stun fairly well. But grenades are the bane of this matchup for him. It doesn't matter how often he can break zone if he's taking hit after stock, after game, after set. Pelka keeping the momentum in his favor, doing a great job of just putting grenades every time Suarez tries to just box him out. It's not working. The nares, the fares, even like the forward tilts. Everything's getting met out by a grenade, and that's percentage that Suarez doesn't need to take. Absolutely, and Pelka just doing a really good job of just, as you said, these grenades are the bane of the matchup, and he's just placing them every little chance he gets. And right there, that could easily be against any other character, an opportunity where Yoshi could come out and get something, but there was a possibility of the grenade right there, and it wasn't worth the risk. So he has to play that more defensive, patient game right here, and that's just playing to Pelka's advantage. And Pelka, with once again, the Nikita trying to pressure, gets the end hit of it. That's actually... Really smart placing, too, on that Nikita. Have you noticed how Pelka has been trying to, like, Curve it inwards no matter what. So that even if Suarez navigates past, like, he's still got that little bit of a fail save. What are we going to see right here? He wants the grab. Oh, there's that up tilt once again. The sweet spot so big for that move now, too. It's going to kill absolutely at that percentage. Sujo coming out, throwing a grenade of his own right there. And it's the kind of stuff he has to do. He wants to get these grenades away from himself as fast as possible, even if it's worth picking it up in time and trying to just throw it off stage or throw it against Pelka. Something Suarez needs to get rid of these grenades or give not give Pelka the time of day to even plant them to begin with. Indeed. I feel like it, it's, it's such a big aspect of this match that a lot of characters have to deal with in their own ways. But in this particular way, I feel like Suarez just needs to figure out how he can just keep them out of play. He's not using them well. He's not abusing whenever they're really close in on Pelka. So he may as well try to just keep them out of play, keep Pelka from taking them out in the first place or just throw them off stage so it's a hazard that he doesn't have to worry about. Nice little string there, 33% for Suarez on Pelka right now. So Pelka just coming right back immediately. Give Bro, a little 30% hits. of his own. The two hits! Suarez just has to stay on the other side of the stage. Can't really approach at that point. Trying to wait for Pelka to do something. Down throw coming out. Oh, reads the roll, but not able to really capitalize. Suarez gets a shield up in time right here. The grenades once again just pressuring Suarez, having to stay on that platform and barely come down. The floor is lava right now for Suarez. He cannot catch a break on trying to get this landing in on Pelka. And look at that, the percentages, they're climbing once again. And Pelka's chilling. He really hasn't had to change any part of his game plan. But landing on the C4 is making things dire for Suarez as he tries again to at least get Pelka like, out of this groove that he's found him in. The up air just missing on Pelka for Suarez. Suarez off stage right now, the grenade getting the super armor of the jump right there. Oh, it's just a C4 right there. Good job defending himself from Suarez right here. At 116 and 101, it won't take much more for either of these players right now. If this comes down once again, Pel uh, Pelka with these grenades right now, just spacing Suarez out. Suarez can't do much. Su Suarez can't get in. He has to wait for Pelka to make the mistake or get rid of these grenades. But look at this. Just so many up smashes coming out because he knows Suarez is not approaching right now. What can he do? Like, grenades are just better eggs in this situation. An amazing patience on both sides. We see the wave land out of the egg. Really good option for Pelka. It's keeping him alive. It's keeping him in the lead. And 158 on Suarez. Landing on a grenade once again. 
I feel like the next interaction is going to be the final one of this game. The I, passive play is super important for both sides. Absolutely. At 169, it won't take much more for Snake. And plus, this is basically up until up air for Yoshi right now. This this would confirm it right here. It's only one move can conf uh, can decide this entire game right here. And there's the C4. And that's going to decide it. Yo, both players. I love if like both players like react to something at the end of a set. You see both of these guys almost shaking their heads in unison. Yeah, like, Where, <laughs> like Helka would try to tag Yoshi but missed. But then Suarez le leapt into it, so it just worked. Like you can tell the pressure's on for both of these fellas, but like something's gotta give here. I trying to figure out like what Suarez can really do. To Man, I, I didn't even see that C4 there to begin with. That was that down right away. Crazy good play coming out from Pelka. And Pelka now, 2-0 on Suarez, who he has yet to beat. He's on route to take it. It's happening. This could be the big upset right here. And yes, they have been getting closer and closer, as you say, in their sets recently. But in terms of ranking right now, this would be a huge upset. This would be taking, technically, the uh, best player ranked right now in the out of this tournament. That's right. With Trio James not in attendance, Suarez by default falls as best seed. But still, like, they, these two players are so even in their play, and I feel like that's even evident within, like, past sets, and especially this one, because these have been down to the wire. Suarez taking the lead for the first time in the set now, but, like, it's just how well can Suarez take that lead? That shack right into the shield right there. Falco trying to find something. Starting to pull out these grenades now, trying to pressure, but Suarez not giving him a chance to breathe. Suarez constantly on him, not giving him a chance to even get a single actionable frame out. Constantly saying, no, 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 sit back down, boy. Sit back down and just take it. But Helka finally able to get Suarez off stage, and here comes the offense from Helka finally, planting that C4 on the left platform. And that's the glory of Snake. Like, when he's in disadvantage, he has no options. Heavy, he takes up a good amount of space, he has no quick options, and his only get out of jail free card, he takes damage for it. It's a terrible time to be Snake, but you give him that little bit of room to breathe, and all of a sudden he's taking that all back. He can bring up the percentage so quickly that it doesn't matter if he's being bullied the entire game. He just needs to make the most of the little situations where he's allowed to breathe. Absolutely, and the second he gets that chance to breathe, he can easily rock up 30. You saw it before, two hits will get that percentage right back to even, or even an advantage, and as you see right there, it's just this kind of offense coming out from Helka that's really going to help him in this match. It has helped him for the past two games, and he's even there, the grenade, in a bad situation with the downers, but the grenade gets him out of it. And honestly, I feel like Helka's rolling with the counter-offensives from Suarez so well, because every time Suarez tries to find his hole in, he swings. But he's swinging on grenades. It's going to proc them. The explosion's going to leave him in hit stun. The Pelk is like, all right, I didn't plan that, but it's working. And it keeps on working for him. Oh my god, the C4 just hitting Suarez, sending him high. 108 now. Pelk has basically tied this right back up. Not getting able to find anything off that down tilt there is Suarez. Suarez retreating to the other side of the stage, and here comes Nikita just dropping down. And Suarez kind of just has to stay and shield and roll back to the other side. Helka taking a firm control of the stage, but just like that, Suarez taking the second stock off Pelka and Pelka down one whole stock now. That was such a beautiful string too. See how Pelka tried to put the pressure all over Suarez and it was just that patience. Wait for Pelka to bring in himself. Because then we just saw the Yoshi bomb. It really wasn't that like extravagant of a kill, but it was the patience of Suarez that let him net it. And now, Pelka's struggling a bit with trying to find a way to place his projectiles in the right spots. He's getting hit by his own C4, by the grenades, while Suarez is on the opposite side of the stage. You can't afford to take these percentage trades if you're not trading. There's that up tilt once again. That's the second time in this game that the up tilt has been the killer of the stocks here. And just once again, Pelka coming back a little bit with the offense, playing a little more patient, realizing that these grenades are the game changer here, realizing he has to keep Suarez at bay with these projectiles because Suarez has no answer for it. But the second he goes in, Suarez finds a little something, but Pelka right back on the offensive now. I feel like one thing that's been super important with Pelka in the preceding set has been he's placing his C4s on the platform. We just saw a moment of that coming into play now, but he's been doing this since game one. He's locking away that airspace from Suarez and forcing Yoshi to stay grounded with his approaches. It trivializes everything that he can do about his airplay. Yoshi's strengths lie with how well he can act in the air. And if you take that away from him, he's just a mediocre boxing character wow. that we're not going to see further in this bracket as Pelka takes a dominating 3-0.
Oh, for Suarez. What a match played right there, and especially towards the end right there. The really nice read. That down, th that down throw wasn't the confirm yet for the up tilt, so he had to read that properly, and he just got that right read. Perfect. Played it patiently and found the exact opportunity he needed to take this set 3-0. Waiting for that jump out of shield into that up tilt. And that's going to be Pelka 3-0 over, over Suarez. And if you're correct with this set count, that's the first time Pelka's ever beaten Suarez. That's, that's a 4-1. That's a very spicy win for him, too.